Welcome back to Your Girl World. In this episode, we make it to the tip of Australia and get the obligatory selfie. But first we need to find our route out of Sam's Creek. There's nothing like an audience. Yeah. <laughs> After watching a couple of cars enter and exit the creek without trailers, we decided this route isn't our option. With our extra length, we would never make it down the bank without causing lots of damage to the back of the car. Luckily, there are always other options. But first we need to wait whilst another car and small trailer attempt to go back up the creek entrance. We're trying to get down. It's now our turn, and after watching everyone else, I won't lie, we were a little bit nervous. Not only because of the deep descent, we clearly don't want to damage the car, but also we realise we won't be able to turn around and go back if the track gets tougher ahead.
just a little MDC. Just when we thought we'd escaped, we get wedged. It's at this point we find out that the new winch doesn't work. Yes, we did test it before we left, but we think all the red dust jammed the gear in. Oh, hold up, wait a minute, wait a minute. You twist, it's twist caught. All right, so, um, <coughs> dust everywhere. We're gonna have to probably put a max track on to get the trailer over, because what you're doing because when you're when you're pulling forward, it's 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 caught core on here and it's dragging it round. And you're and what you're going to do is this is going to fall down here. Where are we going to put the max track? No idea yet. But we're going to have to. We can't. It's up. Okay. When it was. Well, I can reverse back a little bit, but we don't want to be pulling. You're right. We don't want to be pulling it off the edge. Yeah. We're nearly up, aren't we? Yeah, but it wasn't though. It was swinging. It was dragging the. You were going forward, and that, and the trailer was dragging to the right. Okay. So what do you want to do then? Go back down a bit and try not. Think about to turn around and pass the tree. Yeah, I know. Thing is, you've got to be careful that when you reverse back, that you don't fall down here as well with the car. Yeah, so did I. We should have done a bit more of a wider sweep round. But... We reversed back a little and positioned the max tracks on the trailer wheels and then skipped over the rocks. Luckily we came out reasonably unscathed, with only a minor scratch on the near side footplate. Amazingly, the MDC was unscathed and just bounced on behind as though it was nothing. Ernie is a tough little camper. Passing on this track is a little hair raising with little to no room for passing, especially when both vehicles have camper trailers. We keep passing this couple so we have a quick chat before moving on. Oops, that was lucky. We nearly missed the turning and ended up going down the State Creek and there was no going back from there with a the camper trailer. And we're out, and we did give a sigh of relief, but in all honesty, it was a lot of fun. Um, we camped at Jardine River last night because we wanted to get the ferry because yesterday the ferry was closed for maintenance and tomorrow it's closed for maintenance and we didn't think there was enough for us to do this side of the Jardine River to spend sort of three days there. We're going to do some stuff on the way back. Um, so. Um, we camped at Jardine River. Oh, oh sorry, yeah, Jardine Ferry. Um, it was nice. There's um, hot and cold showers and um, camps fairly good. You know, it's cheap. Yeah, it wasn't very well. The, the anyway, the the uh, tents wasn't very nice, but. Oh, wasn't it? Anyway, that's um, not. I guess you know it is what it is. Um, and we got up at about just after six this morning. 
Yeah, just six. To get Seven. in the queue for the ferry, but because um, it was closed yesterday, there was a, a pent up, I guess, demand for it. So. Uh, so we were, we were all in the queue by 7.30 waiting for tickets to purchase to get across because you um, because there's no internet you can't do it online so you have to do it when you get here um, and we're all in the queue and then someone says actually um, the manager's on holiday today and um, they're just going to work out who's going to open up so we're all stood in a queue knowing that tomorrow it's going to be closed for maintenance that we might end up spending three nights here instead of just the one so it was a bit of a pain anyway it was late it anyway. was late starting didn't start till 8 30 didn't really matter we were in the queue but unfortunately they only take um six cars one, six cars and one um car with a trailer or possibly two depending on the length so yeah so they segregated all the cars from the trailers and the caravans which is fine um so they're getting six cars across at a time as much as they can but depending on the size of the caravan, they can only actually take one caravan across. And it is actually only a small crossing, but it takes them forever to get on and off all the vehicles and stuff. Yeah. With a trade, it was $175. You can't uh, you can't actually say that was good value, but you don't really have an option. No, that's right. You can't so. you can't drive around or anything, and it's yeah. And um, we met. Uh, I was chatting to some guys that were on posty bikes. Um, yeah, it's amazing actually what people cross in here. So they're travelling across on posty bikes and they're doing it all for bowel cancer. Yeah, and you can go to their Facebook page and um, find out a bit more about it. So uh, Yeah, like and, and share and do all whatever it is you've got to do on your Facebook thing. So, they um, were. Yeah. They were doing the, um, the, the bottom of Australia to the top of Australia in a month and they're 14 days in and they're just on their way back from the, um, from the tip. So uh, they're doing averaging four or five hundred kilometers a day on posty bikes so um, flat out 70 k's an hour and to do on a posty bike as well because the suspension can't be that great one no, though, it is, is it? quite good oh is it yeah. okay so it's, it's a quite comfortable one. ride then as such they said that, that, that the bikes are um, they're covered in tape now and cable ties but they're easy to maintain mm. it's something you'd like to do wouldn't it? posty bike challenge maybe next mm, don't know <laughs> you're getting too old for that are you maybe <laughs> Uh, all right, I reckon we might be getting on. Maybe.
once across the ferry, it's only a short drive to the campsite. We arrived at Loyalty Beach and set up camp, did some much needed washing and then set back and watched the beautiful sunset from our camping spot. It can't get better than this. We're on our way to the tip. We've been staying at Loyalty Bay, which is on the beach, camping on the beach at Loyalty Bay, which is beautiful, yes, very, very friendly. Uh, and we've just stopped at the croc tent. Picked up our free map, which is really, map. really good. Um, and that um, oh, is really good. Yeah, they sell lots of uh, obviously Cape York merch to try and it says that you've been to the tip. We've got to watch out for uh, wild dogs and horses because uh, they're just everywhere. And the wild dogs aren't actually like you'd expect the dingoes, the usual wild dogs. So These are actually dogs. domesticated dogs. That have just left to go wild and no one looks after feral. them. Yeah, they're just feral and they just run around and cause trouble. Uh, they're, though they're saying that they are very friendly and gentle. They don't. Well, they're, they're not the, aggressive at all. The dogs which is quite nice. Be, well, the ones that we've. The horses are a bit skittish because um, they come into the camp where we're staying. Well, they come everywhere. They go everywhere. It's not just that camp. And um, yeah, and they were. There's a few and they were getting a bit narky. Bay and it's uh, 30 bucks a night. Um, we, we, we don't need power, but we have got a tap. Uh, and there's hot showers and washing machines. There's a bar and a restaurant there. Um, there's no pool, um, but we've just a family that we keep bumping into a Swiss family that are here on holiday and uh, they're staying at Punson, Punson Sands. Yeah, Punson Bay. Punson Bay, and that's costing them $70 a night to camp on the beach. Yeah. Uh, and they've just got a, a car with a roof, uh, a four wheel drive with a rooftop tent. Um, but there is a pool there, so I guess that's the. That's where you pay the extra money. Yeah, I'm not sure I can pay the difference just with that. There's a free pool at the um, in town, though, isn't there? Yeah, there is a swimming pool in the town, yeah. And um, yeah. there was a water hole, the like, uh, croc tent, it was very knowledgeable and helpful. There was a bit of a water hole, which is meant to be lovely. And um, there are. What she said was that it's safe to swim, there are crocs there, but the crocs have been fenced off from, the, from that part of the pool, so I don't know, it sounds a bit iffy, but I guess it's alright. It's a bit like that time when we went with the pool, Our sis, my sisters and my mum. Where were we? That was Queensland, and uh, the, the lady in the petrol station said that there was a great water hole, wasn't it? And we all went for a swim, and then as we were coming out, some people were walking their dog, went, you're a bit brave going in there, because there was um, crocodiles so sighted in there a couple of days ago. So, yeah. But anyway, we all live in the south of the town. It's not that bad. Still haven't seen a croc yet. Oh, a castle worry. But we have seen a croc. It was plastic, it doesn't count. We don't know that it was plastic. It was... I'm... The hike to the tip is a 20 minute ramble over rocks, but it's pretty easy, but you need to get there early to beat the crowds and to miss the midday heat. How beautiful is this view? It is totally breathtaking. I bet sunsets or sunrise would be astounding in this spot, though walking up the rocks in the dark might be a bit tricky. We celebrated 
ended our journey to the tip with prawns, beer and a cheeky cider at the camp restaurant. Thanks for watching. Next time on Your Go Wild, Andy surprises me with a helicopter flight for our wedding anniversary.